There were a lot of bad mm-hmm. boys last night. All the bad boys were there. Yeah. Natalie I loves do. the bad boys. Yeah, like Solus. No. Yeah. Yes. Speaking of Solus, actually, actually, Natalie. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We've talked a lot about a lot of things already. I'm going to give you a little secret. Uh-huh. We actually already also had a conversation about the Dragon Age uh, Inquisition teaser. Which we're going we're gonna to do the little outro. So right now I'm going to say thank you as always to Bowen for letting us use the track Miss You off the EP Pale Machine. Find out more about that at waypoint.zone slash B-O-E-N. I'm going to say you can find me on Twitter at Austin underscore Walker. You can find Patrick Klepik at Patrick Klepik. You can find Natalie Watson at Natalie Watson and Rob Zachney at Rob Zachney. Shout out to Kato, our producer. You can find at uh, uh underscore Kato underscore appears. You can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash waypoint, facebook.com slash waypoint vice, youtube.com slash waypoint vice, and twitch.tv slash waypoint. And uh, be good and be good at it and peace and all of that. And what I'm really going to say is, Natalie, can you just do us a favor and explain what's up with Solus? I got you, fam. Natalie, do you have do you have thoughts about Solus? Mm. Because they did the thing that we basically said they would do. They didn't do yep. the whole thing. We we had, we had said, you know, fair is fair. We had said that we expected maybe like a Dragon Age, you know, one remaster or collection or something on the current consoles. They didn't do that. But they, but they did They did do the second thing. Which is like, like to a T. To a T. To the T. The 20 or 30 second tease with a name for a game, a quick voice clip. You know, a slow pan from out. the character that we said they the, would. From the character they said we said they would, <laughs> which it's, is obvious. I don't want to make it seem like I'm overly clever. No, like this was like no. any like <clears throat> if anyone would pull this off a shelf. Totally, <clears throat> Natalie. I know that you have feelings about about the egg, Solus. I do, I do. I saw. What do you think about this teaser trailer for the dread? The dread wolf rises is the name of the project. Good name. I'm fucking upset and <laughs> also excited and. Also, oh. I you know that tweet where they said, <laughs> yeah. what you know that tweet where it was like, um, all my friends want to fuck, marry, or kill. Yeah, uh, I made the cosmos is yeah, solace, and uh-huh. I think you responded either. Uh-huh. That's a huge mood this morning, just coming out of <laughs> coming <That was> me. <laughs> coming out of uh, that Dragon Age trailer and remembering my feelings at the end of Inquisition. Help. Me, because uh-huh. I'm a little, I'm a little behind on my Dragon Age. Okay, why Solus? are people losing it? Because Solus. All right, because wait, 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 wait. we're gonna have to. Sp- there's a light. Sp- there's spoilers here. There's, there's no huge, way to talk yeah, about yeah. these. There's, there's huge, huge spoilers, huge spoilers for, Dragon for the Age end of Dragon, and for a very specific ending of Dragon Age Inquisition, which is the true ending, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Already derision. <laughs> yeah, immediately. Which is if you play. An elf inquisitor that chooses to align with the elves and romance Solus. Basically, at the end of Dragon Age Inquisition, you've spent this whole fucking game building a relationship with this fucking egg. And <laughs> this have you seen Solus? This, have you seen Solus? This fucking egg, egg. This fucking egg has been trying. Has been telling you your conceptions of elfism are wrong. What? Oh, actually, oh, hold on. Ooh, I'm mad again. Okay. So, <laughs> at the end, so basically, you if you play an elf inquisitor, the, your whole storyline is that yes, thank you Austin. <laughs> fuck this guy, but also fuck this guy because <laughs> that is this whole fucking game where you spend the whole game trying to establish like a new what what the future of elven identity is essentially right. because elves are like hyper marginalized in this they're world they're hyper marginalized in different ways like some of them are literally kicked off some of them live inside of cities as like servants as a servant they belong class, to like underclass. the lowest yeah the lowest class of 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 like citizens a lot of the times they aren't even considered citizens uh uh they are uh, or they live out in the wilds where they frame themselves as reclaiming their historical culture. But they're reclaiming their historical culture from artifacts because their entire existence has been, like, obliterated. So they're basically, like, assembling a culture from pieces. And at the end of... Oh, my God. All throughout that game, another little piece is the thing that you're saying is Solus throughout Inquisition is, like, 
yeah, the wild elves are stupid. Like, yeah, the ones in the cities have it rough, and they should have more. They should respect respectability politics. Yeah, it's me, Solus the Egg, and I think elves should wear their pants higher up on their waists. I think they should wear belts. Why don't the elves wear belts? Um, but then he's like, and the wild ones, they're even worse. Because what they're reclaiming is bullshit. They don't know their own history. Yeah, all he Everything- says is they, that they don't know that what, like, they don't know is basically yeah. what he, they say. It's like, you know nothing, you don't know. <laughs> and there's a point in the game where you can choose to, oh, mm. okay, at the end of the game, you and Solus, this is like your final, like, romance moment. You're in this fucking, like, lake area there's like a pond there's trees it's very romantic very mystical and solace is like and okay so at the beginning of the game sorry i'm the worst <laughs> I love this. so much Jesus so good right at the beginning of the game when you design your elf character you can give it a face tat like you can give it like uh they all have cool face tats a lot have, of them do and they're so you're really like, cool yeah. and and so basically you come to understand uh, throughout the game that the origin of these face tattoos is uh, based on what uh, god your elf group or elf clan was like associated with or something like that I forget so basically all of them are very like distinct and beautiful and whatever in this super romantic moment with fucking Solus, he's like I have to tell you oh okay so you t- I have it up uh huh you tell him you love him. And he responds, okay, but there's something I have to tell you. And basically, he says that, he's like, there's something I have to tell you. There's something you don't know. And I have, like, I, you need to know. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. Mm-hmm. So he says, and so Solus can fucking travel through time. Is it's <laughs> <laughs> like the Sonic Fox acceptance at speed. People listening at um, home. People listening at home. Rob is giddy. Rob is <laughs> gleeful. I've never seen Rob like rub his hands together like Birdman like this. So Solus can meditate into what's called like the fucking rift or whatever, and he the fade, the fade, the fade, the fade. Yeah, and there's yeah, there's a rift and the fade. Okay, whatever. The fade. So he yeah. gets faded, and. Yeah basically can transport himself to different historical moments in time and he can like like be there as like an apparition or whatever and like observe so he says those markings on your face are slave markings because the elves were slaves for a long 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 time um to like the humans of uh fucking whatever this place is called i forget anyway thetis i believe thetis yes anyway then he's like, do you want me to remove them for you? You can decide, like, what, like, and your responses are like, no, these markings have, like, a new meaning for me. Like, I've basically, like, reclaimed these markings as to mean, like, uh, like something empowering to me. Or you can be like, oh, yeah, I should get them removed. Or you're like, fuck off, whatever. And then you end the relationship. No matter what you do, Solus breaks up with you at the end of this because he's like, by the way, I just can't do this anymore. Even if you get the fucking tattoos removed for him, which is just like, oh, my God, whatever. Then at the yeah, end, that's not even uh-huh. that's not the end. Then the last if you play the DLC, the last scene of this fucking game is you and Solus and Solus is like. You're, like, at the top of this fucking tower or something, and Solus is like, you don't know shit. You, your conceptions of elfin culture are all wrong. Everything is wrong. We and you get this even if oh you're not an God. elf. This part you get. Yeah, this you this get no matter what. But it is no especially what, yeah, damning yeah, yeah. after you fucking spent 60 hours trying to have a relationship with this fucking egg. And so at the end of this, he's like... <laughs> He has got, like, this fucking portal ship behind him, and he's like, I'm going to go fucking end it all. And he jumps in this portal to fucking- You skipped, like, what he is, which is fine, which is fine. He's a fucking god. Okay? So this whole time, you couldn't be in a relationship with him because he's a fucking god. So he- And he's not just a god. 
He is like the god of betrayal. He's like he is the god. He's the trickster like god that you read about. <laughs> yeah, he's uh-huh. Loki. Yes. He is Loki. He is the trickster god. He's the one who betrayed all the other gods, who killed a bunch of other gods. He is the he's one the who worst. removed magic from the world to begin with and is now like, man, what if we collapsed it all again? What if we brought the fate? What if we destroyed the veil between the world of magic and the world of material stuff? And I know that'll kill a lot of people. And like, I know we were kind of crushing for a while, but you know, hard choices, Inquisitor. And he jumps in a fucking portal. And leaves. Yeah. And that's the end of Dragon Age Inquisition. And he also kills like some major NPCs. Like he, he sucks. Su- well, oh, so here's the thing. After you guys <laughs> after you guys break up. Take a drink for every Okay, so So wait. You, no, okay. no. Nobody interrupt this. So after you guys break up, he disappears. And this is the first time you fucking find him is at the end of the game in this fucking DLC is the first time you see him again. And you're like, so oh my god. We broke up. I miss you. Whatever. I don't know. Maybe you kind of suck, actually, because you asked me to get my fucking face tattoos removed, which were, like, kind of sick. And, like, now you're like, oh, they're slave markings. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm reclaiming them, bitch. So fuck out of here. Anyway, you're at the end. And he just fucking dips. And then that's the end of the game. And we've had nothing. We've had nothing since then. And this is the shit we get. And it's breadcrumbs. And it's... mm, I eat it. I eat it all. <laughs> I say thank you. I thank you. It is the worst. It's not even. I want to be clear. It's straight up not even new dialogue in this trailer. It is literally just the last thing he already said in 2015 when they released the Trespasser deal. And I'm like, yum, delicious. The mm, the flavor of these white fucking Wonder Bread crumbs are so, mm, so strong. And it's fucking trash. And I, oh, I'm so mad. I can't wait. I can't wait. That game is that game is gonna come out in like 70 years. I love it as character so, design. Yeah. It's also the worst part is that I'm never, I'm not gonna be alive to see this game. <laughs> Global warming. I think they already for us. said uh, there was a report from uh, uh, Gamesbeat that said the game is at least three years at out. Least. So. At least. At least. At <laughs> least. Three years doesn't exist. Three years from yeah. now, who knows? Oh God. It's fair. And then it'll be just be. It'll just be Dragon Age Andromeda. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, God. What a crushing way to have it all end. (sighs) Anyway. I do love that his character design does appear to be like, look, we know some of you wanted to fuck Dobby. (laughs) I. Rob. And. Rob. (laughs) Rob. I've never been so dragged in my life. Rob. Oh, look at your pictures of Dobby now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You just made a lot of egg fuckers very uncomfortable. So what is very funny is a friend of mine, link, there, is a, there is a series of web I'm not gonna. I'm not going to drag anything specific. <laughs> There's a series of fan, uh-huh. fan web sure. comics. The uh, butt is very important. Fan, here, huh? Yeah, fan uh, Dragon Age web comics. Um, that uh, uh, are about characters in that world. I'm not going to say what it is, but a friend of mine linked me to an image of one that I'm now going to link to y'all uh, and said, referring to the people in that comic, I thought that was Gabe Newell and Dobby. <laughs> and <laughs> it's Patrick Weeks, one of the writers, and and Solace. But it absolutely looks like Dobby to me. <laughs> Might as well be. Might as well be. <laughs> Except Dobby fucking, mm, Dobby at least would fucking take a bullet for you. Solace would jump in a portal and start the fucking, would shoot right, right. the gun. Dobby, I, yeah, I get what you're saying. You're saying Dobby still has on the slave tattoos. Yeah. Mm, uh-huh. Well, at the very yes. least, Dobby hasn't taken like two semesters of ethnic studies. And uh, that is, is exactly, going around. Rob, that is Solace. 100%. That whole game is like 100% walking around with a master student in their first year who is like so eager to tell you shit, but not tell you shit because he doesn't know shit. But then it's revealed he actually knows way more than anybody else. It's the worst. It's the worst. It's the worst. Fuck him. Anyway. Um, so th- anyway. That was big for me. <laughs> We're back. And we're back. And we're back. From our last break. From uh, <laughs> the end of that horrible segment. <sighs> to be fair, it's Thank been. You. Sorry it took me so long to get that all out. That's how we got yeah, it. Actually, we should put that at the end of the show. 
it's been like three or four years since I played Dragon Age Inquisition, and we should put that at the end of the show. We should say spoilers. Uh, I'll, I'll record a thing before we wrap. I'm like one more segment. We want to talk about Dragon Age, but we have to talk about spoilers. So blah blah blah. Okay. So that's so that if you if end. you listen to this podcast after the after the outro after the sign offs, prepare yourself for a magical fucking journey. Prepare for the veil to be torn down between you and that good, good content. 